This is the only comedy in the history of the Motion Picture Academy to receive Best Picture, which is Annie Hall. There's a scene in it that I love on every level. They're waiting in line to see a film, and they're being intruded upon by a pretentious guy in the line. It's like Samuel Beckett. You know, I admire the technique, but it doesn't, it doesn't hit me on a gut level. And Woody's response to it, both as a character in the film and as a filmmaker making a film. Probably on that first it's a date, right? View that Probably met by answering an ad in the New York Review of Books. 30-ish academic wishes to meet woman who's interested in Mozart, James Joyce, and sodomy. Woody Allen's one of the few intellectual filmmakers who takes himself seriously that you shouldn't make fun of because he's just so brilliant. He's, 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 he's amazing. I'm, he's a big, I'm a big fan. And this is a scene uh, from Annie Hall. What do you do when you get stuck well, on a movie line with a guy like this behind you? Wait a minute, why can't it's I just give my maddening. opinion? This is a free country. He, he, he can give you, do you have yeah. to give it so loud? I mean, aren't you ashamed to pontificate like that? And, and the funny part of it is, Marshall McLuhan, you don't know anything about Marshall McLuhan's oh, really? work. You know what I watched again recently was The Front. Oh, I've been meaning to. How, how does that hold up? I write the scripts, I send them in under your name. They buy the scripts, right? It's perfect. Excellent. Really? Okay. All right. It's excellent. And there are two. Zero Mostel, in particular, yeah. is wonderful. And uh, the ending is wonderful. In fact, the ending is very similar conceptually and equally satisfying as the moment in Annie Hall when the man in line they're waiting in line for the sorrow and the pity because he won't yes. go in once it started. Yes. The man in line in front of them is pontificating about uh, Marshall McLuhan. Marshall McLuhan. And Woody's like going, oh, and he's so aggravated. And finally, he stops the man and he says, excuse me, but you, you know nothing. You, you, you're an idiot. You're talking this crap. And the man pulls himself back and says, excuse me, I teach. A course on Marshall McLuhan, and I happen to love yada da. And Woody, in one of the great moments of yes. cinema, says, "Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, that's funny because I happen to have Mr. McLuhan right here. So, so yeah, just let me, let me, let me come over here a second. Oh, tell I heard, him. I heard what you were saying. You, you know nothing of my work. You mean my whole fallacy is wrong." How you ever got to teach a course in anything is totally amazing. Well, I happen to have Marshall McLuhan right here. Pulls him out, and Marshall McLuhan looks at the guy and says, you know nothing of my work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a very conceptual ending that takes that thought. And the movie's very touching because all the principles involved were blacklisted. Right. Furthermore, yeah. you can all go fuck yourselves. Fairy tales can come true, it can happen to you.